Hi guys, welcome back to Darush Zone channel and this new video is about the beta, the last beta of Batosera. Yes, I'm back on Batosera and I'm glad I'm back to this uh, system, this front end, this fork of uh, recall box. And this is the last beta, as I said, there is the 5.2.2 last beta. And this version surprised me a lot. I've tested on, uh, as you can see, I tested on a test uh, base uh, card, one to eight card. And I'm surprised, why? Because uh, things get very serious here. This is uh, a, a war, the, Batosera team started a war with uh, the recall box. It's a fork, but uh, they started to to become very very different. Uh, to start, it's this beta. It's not used anymore. The theme, the recall box theme. It uses by default. It uses the carbon theme which is the 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 full theme of retropie this is very interesting because this ring a bell on my head and uh, turn a light <laughs> over my head because uh, one of the most surprising feature of this beta is the it seems total compatibility with uh, retropie themes much more than uh, uh, recall box which needs some uh, some edit I I just want to show you first of all this theme you can see here is uh, you can download this emulation station theme fundamental which is uh, actually a theme uh, on the emulation station retropar repository you, you can download this theme I show you the voice from updates you can install teams and, and those four teams you can download to the system you can you must think the recall box not even give you the possibility to download themes from repository you have to add the team by yourself so not only you can download these four teams i will show you i want to show you because we are just started this is the simple let me just dance, emulation station theme you you may recognize it you must consider this is a test image i put just some roms but there is not an art box just a test and this is a beta remember that so this is the simple and the zoid all these themes i repeat are actually on retropy repository and then you can install on the batosera but it's not over my friends it's not over because i've managed to import my whole the team joy pie you, you you may recognize this team from the glorious Omega image and this is the joy pie it works perfect it lacks the artwork obviously but you can see this is the also a new version I've, I've made with a more lighter image you can see it's fast there's no delay on the image but I, I can manage to to install this version of recall box and it works on Batosera out of box it is not over I want to show you uh, the neon blue is the neon from the 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 neon image a 32 gigabyte image I, I've just released it's there this is the neon image <laughs> you can recognize some it's a mess obviously because uh, uh, the, the, the artworks must be reworked but uh, 
the images here the, it seems not recognized the Let's see if we can fix that because it seems you have to consider. I tested for this video, I've not prepared anything. It's a very. And let's try to set video because. And then we have the, the, the game list screen, you see, because the, the Neon use video actually, so. Fantastic! This uh, it's work, uh, and this is the the Amstrad uh, JX four thousand, and, and this is one of new new system uh, supported by Batosera, and this uh, system we we also will be also added on the new version of Recall Boss. Fantastic. So even the the art pie, the old uh, another old, uh, and this is fantastic. I can adapt easily. Art pie dark is actually gestalt of the fire and ice theme. Do you recognize? <laughs> oh, fantastic! Even gestalt works out of box. Oh, fantastic! So good. There, I repeat. There is to the compile. Let's uh, turn back to fundamental. I like this team. And we set uh, we set this video with the fundamental team. And so uh, don't waste time. Uh, the the menu of this version, this beta version, but Osera seems a little changed. You are all. Uh, we still have the code in Media Center, the game settings where you can set the option for the emulators so you can set the shader and that's one of the most interesting thing of the Batosera. So you can add the overlays directly from the menu. This is the only front end which allowed to, to make that offer this option because uh, not even recall bolts can do this you have to to set uh, the bezel into retro arc but uh, from my experience i learned the less you spend the time on on a modified option or retro arc the better it is so this this front end uh, try to to do not mess you with the retro arc because you can also set the let's uh, leave this to auto the missing BIOS another great uh, feature of this uh, front end is the possibility to, to check your BIOS and it tells you what BIOS are correct and what not I noticed this uh, this um, utility is very very strictly because uh, and it needs the, the the exact exactly the, the version you want on his database but uh, the games still can work if uh, the, the the utility tells you the the, bi the bios is not good but you can work uh, anyway this is the, the question and the fact is uh, the BIOS can work anyway. Uh, advanced, uh, advanced, you can set uh, the, the, the core for the emulators, uh, the, the same thing on recall box. Update game list, the controller said the UI settings, uh, UI mode, they added the kiosk mode and the kit mode just like retropies so this version seems to be more close to retropy than recall box but still maintain the engine of recall box because it's a fork of recall box so is still more simple more user friendly more plug and play but there's difference there's different, but it has the, the on screen keyboard just like a recall box. 
the overscan all this option but there's difference you can you can see battle server let you modify the vram limit recall box uh, no this uh, useful option is for if the you you use a team which uh, use an image uh, high quality image which can stress your ram and so you can um, made uh, to the, the infamous white screen issues if you alter the ram limit you have to to be very careful with that you can uh, work around these issues when on recall box you are you can do anything on ram side you have to 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 go for a lesser stressing theme but this um, i think this fit very well with this compatibility with the retropie themes which are very very taxing on the cpu and on ram so the network settings is the same you can uh, go for net to play like the recall box it has the, the same functions of the features of recall box but some some feature recall box doesn't have so this is a very open war from uh, between those two front end recall box uh, still uh, still have uh, um still be a measure measure project because it uh, is around uh, from a lot of time but you have to consider the batosera is made from uh, people former people of the recall box project so these people <laughs> No, they know what they do and uh, I'm surprised at the, the speed uh, with they release uh, this uh, update when uh, the recall box uh, team is very very slow but uh, let's uh, try some games I speak too much as usual another big 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 thing of this beta is the Amiga Amiga was updated to the new version of my Amy Berry so the version two to five and this is very very good because they they made the upgrade uh, as is meant to be because uh, i show you the games are totally compatible with the new direct boot system you are just to update i show you how the xml file directly into amiberry and uh, obviously you need the kickstarts bios because they not provide you remember that the kickstart are copyrighted they can share this stuff so you have to manage by yourself remember this and this is the the menu of amiberry and you can see the version is the last the two to five if you you just need to Sell it update double w h d load database x m l and you are ready to play there's not any more to there's not any option to set Batosera and you have the also the the amiga a g a one two zero zero and the amiga c d thirty two so all Amiga are covered. 64th Street in a classic. I hope this. <laughs> which uh, even that one uses a uh, fantastic uh, overlay set by the Bathosera and this uh, this overlay seems to also have a, some screen effect and CRT screen effect. Very good. Guys, I love this, uh, this overlay. It's fantastic. It seems uh, very... very arcade room-like. Okay. Okay, and do 
let's move on on final stuff. I'm very excited of this new version of um, beta of Batosera. I don't like so much they still uses the vice uh, core for the Commodore 64 when, when I I prefer more the Libreto version of the vice. I hope they add this on the final version. Who knows? Never say never, but I'm very impressed by this version of Batosera. This is open war now, and you can uh, do you can uh, you can do for both of these systems. And they each of one have uh, the stronger points. Both uh, Recall Box and Batosera at the moment are fantastic front ends i'm impressed and i will keep follow the the, the development of this uh, um, fantastic fork of recall box which is uh, way more different than recall box as uh, they move on they move on on the development so i've been said i thank you for watching the video Subscribe to channel and we catch up on the next one. Bye bye.